love bugs. Today I thought it would be fun to go through this Japanese insect book I have here. Um, I have a very good friend in Japan who sent it to me because I do study Japanese and I also love insects, so what better book for me to have? <laughs> here we have your stereotypical Japanese beetle, uh, also known as the kabuto mushi. Um, which basically translates to uh, helmeted beetle or helmeted insect. Uh, over here we have tamago, which means egg. We have yushu, which means larva. We have sanagi, which translates to chrysalis or pupa. And we have seishu, which means adult. Over here we have the word for claw, tsume, tsume, claw. And then over here we have the word for horn, which is tsuno, tsuno. Here we have another example of horns, tsuno. Um, beetle fighting is actually popular over there. Um, it's part of the hobby for them. Here we have a swallowtail butterfly. And we've got the word for wing, which is hane. Hane. We also have the word for antenna, which is shukaku. We also have egg, larva, chrysalis, and adult here again. Here we have another adorable example of antenna. Shukaku. Differences between a moth and butterfly antenna. Shukaku antennas again. We also have over here maibane, which uh, is their word for elytra. And then we also have ushirobane, which is their word for the underlings. The word that they use for stinger is huddy, which would translate directly uh, into sword. They also use this word for thorn or needle. Of course, there were several pages on cicadas in this book as Japan is full of them in the summertime. Summers are very loud over there. They even have throughout the pages um, the cicadas saying little chirping noises like chi chi gi chiru chiru. Very very cute. Here we have the word for mantis which is kamakiri. Kamakiri. There were uh, about three or four pages in this book uh, about mantids, so I suppose they are popular pets over there, which I wasn't aware of. Um, I think that's really cool because mantids are very, very interesting and beautiful little creatures. They're kind of like fairies or, or nymphs or something. <laughs> And the very last page in the book talks about snails and um, some other uh, isopods. So the word for snail is katatsumuri. 
and over there it's just saying shukaku uh, to me which means um, that the eye is attached to the antenna and right here we have a cute little paragraph talking about how awesome giant African land snails are um, it even has a little exclamation point next to it which I think is adorable <laughs> So yeah, that's the end of the book. I hope you guys had fun uh, going through it with me and maybe learned something. Um, yeah, hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye!